Narcissists work hard to establish a glamorous reputation in the eyes of others. Making a nice first impression enables them to draw victims in closer. Asking them probing questions that reveal their genuine nature is one method to cut through their manipulation. Learn how to pose challenging questions to narcissists that will make them feel uncomfortable and expose their true motivations in this video. You should observe how these narcissists react when you pose these queries. First, how do you respond to criticism or unfavorable comments? Inquiring about the narcissist's capacity to take criticism challenges how they see themselves. Narcissists have an exaggerated feeling of self-importance and yearn for other people's adoration. Their delicate egos are threatened by criticism, thus they find it difficult to accept it. They will go to great lengths to defend their self-image because they view criticism as an assault on it. You'll observe deflection and other protective responses, putting up a fight or even yelling. Pay special attention to how they react defensively since they may be hiding something. 2. What do you think is your biggest weakness? A narcissist is forced to face their flaws and is put to the test when you ask them what their worst weakness is. This uneasiness results from their sense of superiority and resistance to acknowledging their frailties. When asked this, they could dodge, minimize, or grow hostile, since it boosts their sense of value. Pay carefully to their responses since they reveal important information about their genuine character and mentality. 3. Can you give an example of when you place the needs of others ahead of your own? When you ask a narcissist to give an example of a moment when they put the needs of others above their own, you are opposing their egocentric perspective. Narcissists prioritize their needs and interests over those of others, typically lacking true care for others' well-being and empathy. You want to reveal their lack or reluctance to take other people into account by posing this question as they are challenged with their selfish tendencies and made to take responsibility for their lack of empathy. This can make narcissists squirm or feel uncomfortable. 4. How do you keep up wholesome relationships? Narcissists are put in a difficult position when you ask them how they manage good relationships. Self-interest and self-admiration are central to their thoughts and actions. Instead of genuinely caring about people, Giving and taking are in balance in good relationships, as are respecting each other's limits and looking out for their well-being. However, narcissists always put their own needs, wants, and self-image first. In order to challenge their perception of a healthy relationship, you should ask them this question. Because their relationships are based on manipulation, control, and the pursuit of praise, narcissists find it difficult to give a suitable response, instead than encouraging real connections. Watch out for additional attempts to influence the issue by concentrating on trivial details and ignoring or dismissing the subject entirely, to avoid admitting their fault and to keep positive connections. 5. Have you ever truly regretted hurting someone? You addressed a narcissist's fundamental characteristics and recurring patterns of conduct when you inquired about their sincere guilt for injuring someone. Self-centeredness, a lack of empathy, and accepting responsibility are challenges for narcissists. They frequently assign blame, downplay their responsibility, or focus on the other person. Their apologies could not be genuine, serving to keep up appearances rather than showing sincere regret. Narcissists may employ deceptive methods to appear sorry when they are not. You'll detect discomfort, self-defense, and unease as well as their sense of superiority. Contrasts with their lack of sincere regret. 6. How do you respond when someone else achieves success or is recognized? Narcissists frequently want to dominate any setting where they are the focus of attention. When another person succeeds or is acknowledged, due to the focus being taken from them, it may lead them to feel envious and insecure. How do you respond when someone else succeeds or gets recognized? I ask a narcissist. May be quite illuminating since it makes them address their feelings and attitudes regarding other people's accomplishments. Their answer to this query might vary, but it typically reveals their envious nature and craving for unceasing praise. 7. What actions are you taking to advance your own personal development and self-improvement? When you inquire about a narcissist's personal development and self-improvement activities, you are undermining their idea of perfection. Narcissists reject the notion of improving oneself because they believe they are flawless. This question introduces cognitive dissonance, indicating that there is space for improvement. 
They don't like it because it reveals their lack of self-reflection and undercuts their lofty self-image. Some narcissists could give false information, discussing empty gestures that don't lead to real human development. These efforts cover up their unwillingness to genuinely change. 8. What do you think is your biggest worry or vulnerability? Under their egotistical persona, narcissists frequently conceal deeply ingrained vulnerabilities. You confront them with what they have been trying so hard to hide by questioning them about their anxieties or weak points. Watch as they make an effort to minimize or downplay their weaknesses. 9. What does success mean to you, and what part do others play in achieving it? Narcissists frequently exaggerate their feeling of achievement, feeling that they are the only ones to blame for their success. This inquiry jolts people out of their complacency and makes them acknowledge the efforts of others. Watch them struggle to recognize the value of cooperation and support while they feel uncomfortable. 10. Do you ever feel the desire to manipulate or exert control over others? To preserve their ideal image and acquire power, narcissists manipulate and rule everyone around them. You challenge them with their actions by posing this question, exposing their tendencies towards manipulation. Be on the lookout for denial, defensive responses, or attempts to draw attention away from their dominating behavior. Keep these three things in mind when conversing with a narcissist. Foremost, establish clear limits. Create distinct limits and assertively convey them. Be clear about the conversational topics you will and will not allow. Narcissists could attempt to exert pressure or influence you, so it's important to consistently stand your ground. Second, keep your emotional distance. Recognize that narcissists adore praise and positive attention. Keep your composure and be cool during the exchange. Avoiding getting caught up in their provoking you or showing passion. Emotional detachment can help you keep your mind on straight and stop them from playing with your emotions. Lastly, pay attention to logic and facts. Narcissists frequently distort reality through manipulative techniques like gaslighting. Utilize unbiased information to combat their strategies. Logic and arguments supported by facts. Keep your feet firmly planted on the truth and resist the urge to be drawn into their attempts to distort or undermine your understanding of reality. Keep in mind that handling narcissists might be difficult. Why it's crucial to put your health first. If required, get assistance from dependable relatives, friends, or experts to help you through these discussions and guard against their manipulative tendencies. However, it is crucial to approach these conversations with caution and be ready for any potential deflection or manipulation. Keep in mind that narcissists may not always respond in an open and sincere manner, since their main goal is to preserve their inflated sense of self. To better understand narcissists, utilize these questions, especially their unspoken goals. Like this video and join our channel. We'll see you in the future one.